If, if you look at the chemical formula of sugar, the material substances dissolve into water and carbon dioxide, which stays, what stays as the light. So we are living by light, and Fritz Albert Pott says for him it's absolutely conceivable that there are people who live on light. One day, about two years ago, Professor Gerald Pollack from the University of Washington approached me because he heard about my film and he said he wanted to see this film. Because he said, I think I have an explanation for you how this works on a physical level. Pollack is a bioengineer and he specialized in water research. He found, and this is now really revolutionary, groundbreaking research. It was only published in 2013 and will probably need another 100 years until it's in the school books or longer. What he found is this fourth phase of water beside liquid, solid and vapor. It has completely different chemical and physical properties than normal liquid water. It has actually a different chemical formula. It's H3O2. And you see it, for example, water is not freezing directly from liquid to solid. It goes via this uh, stage. It's like a gel. You find this water, for example, in very fresh, vivid spring water. It has this greenish look. It's fluorescent. Think of the biophotons. One property of this force phase water that is that it's extremely negatively charged. And they actually could build a battery just with water, nothing in, uh, uh, else in. Just force phase water and liquid water, because this one is positively charged and this one is negatively charged. Now, what uh, Gerald Pollack says is, uh, in our cells, uh, is this force phase of water. Our cells are full of this force phase water. We are actually moving bubbles of this force phase water. So what we do is constantly absorbing energy from the surroundings. And uh, we don't need the sun. You can sit in a, in, in, in a cave and absorb uh, this energy. Uh, because nature is negatively charged. And with this research, suddenly I, in, in my film, I have a Taoist grandmother, uh, grand uh, master who said to me, you should not uh, you, you should uh, practice Pigou only where the chi fields are ordered. So not in cities, for example. Uh, because uh, what was the, word? the chi fields are ordered, in order. Where the chi fields are in order and what I didn't understand, where you have lots of negatively charged uh, ions, ions. I thought the Taoist grand master speaks to me about negatively charged things. <laughs> but I, you know, I thought, okay, whatever. <laughs> and suddenly I understood uh, what this meant, because you, you, you take this, this charge from nature. So it's a big difference if you are doing this in a healthy uh, surrounding or between four concrete walls with air from air condition. So no wonder that a lot of uh, breatharians underperform when they do this in clinical studies. <laughs>